Right then guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the AM5 secure frame from Thermalright. Now we will take a look at the overall build construction. We will also, I will be showing you how to install it. And I've got some thermal results to see if this can beat the standard retention. Okay, so this is the AM5 secure frame installation from Thermalright. Now, as you can see, that is the thermal paste pattern off the cooler with the standard retention bracket. Now, what what and then initially this is for is to stop thermal paste from getting over the sides. Now, I'm going to show you the installation because it's rather easy. So, what you want to do is you really want to do that first, you don't want it like that because... So, with that now done, what you want to do is take the included retention thing, it's just a Torx. What you really want to do is just undo it. So, a little bit of force is needed to take it out. Like that. Like that like that and like that so now these screws are undone so what you want to do is just keep unscrewing them it doesn't matter doing a star pattern because cpu is in the socket this is just to hold the cpu in the socket so it, it's not like lga where it's got no back plate this is already the back plate because am5 has a back plate included so gonna undo it and I will be back and that is it that's taken off see that is it basically that's all it does is just keeps the CPU in the socket so now what you want to do is take the secure frame from thermal right you want to place it down gently of course because this is what holds the CPU in place now right so now with that done, what you want to do is take the included four torque screws that comes with it and just put it in like this. So one each side and that's pretty much it. Now what you want to do is take the included torques and tighten down each side gradually. You don't want to over tighten because you can damage the socket. So what you want to do is do it like a star pattern, one side to the other, then once you start feeling it to t catch, then you do it to that, 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 that. And that's pretty much it, that's done. And then you apply your thermal paste. Now the pattern for the thermal paste will be pretty much the same. So if you put more on, it won't go in the socket or on the in the CPU gaps where the capacitors and stuff are there. Right then, so what I have done is I've put this in my main Edton rig, which is a 7900. Yeah, it's a 65 watt CPU, but with PV enabled, it can reach up to 220 watts. So what I've done for the standard retention, which is the basic retention armor you get with a, with the motherboard, I've done four tests. This time I've included Cinebench R24 in the mix. So let's see what it's like. This is the 7900 with PB enabled. So it is overclocked. So for Cinebench R24, the idles were 39 Celsius with a max of 83. Cinebench R23, the idles were 39 with a max of 86. Blender Classroom, the idles were 39 with a max of 85. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 39 with an 83 Celsius max. Right then, so with the 
contact frame, the secure frame from Thermal Right. Now, exact same tests. Cinebench R23, the idles were a lot lower at 34 Celsius with a max of 85. Cinebench R23, idles 34 Celsius again with a max of 86. Blender Classroom, the idles were 34 with a max of 85. And 3D Mark CP test, the idles were 34 with a max of 83 Celsius. So the only difference basically is the idles. So when it comes to this, what are the actual differences? Well, when it comes to the basic retention arm that is mass produced in the millions from AMD. So some of the retention arms aren't gonna be as flat, push the CPU down as much. It all depends. Now with the secure frames, Thermal Grizzly does one, uh, Gilead, they also do a version. So for this, the basic principle is this replaces the retention arm which you saw in the installation part. It just changes that and it keeps the CPU secured to the motherboard. Now luckily for AM5, they got their own built-in backplate where Intel doesn't, so yeah. Now, obviously when it comes to the thermals, that will always depend on where you live. The, also the ambient air in the room and I will say the third the all the idols for this were a lot lower so but the maxes were exactly the same there was no difference in maxes so basically this could potentially put the idols down a bit lower but of course there could be a margin of error because of the ambient air so just remember that in wherever you live that could be the reason so is this actually worth the money now look you're not really going to see a big difference with idols idols don't really matter that isn't really anything the idols all it really matters is what's running in the background they don't really matter i include them so you guys can get a rough idea it's the max thermal performance and this is exactly the same as the standard retention arm for the motherboard whether this is worth it or not I got sent this by Thermal Right, so my opinion on it, really, if it's worth it, doesn't really matter. That opinion's up to you. I personally have been using it, so I would buy one if it was down to getting that extra bit of performance. But the only really difference is this keeps thermal pace from going around the CPU where the capacitors and stuff are. So that's mainly the big difference. And that's pretty much it actually so if you want to buy it i will leave a link down below it does come in black and red so yeah don't forget to subscribe i've got loads more coming from colink i'm also going to be making how to build a computer and i'll be doing a pc build so make sure you subscribe for that and as always this is rich for welsh tech i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend a week ahead week ahead of you good bye